court has indeed upheld our no case submission. The court found, and quite rightly, that the charges that were filed in the year 2018, portion to a penal law enacted by the Cardinal State Government in 2017 over offences that were allegedly committed in the year 2015 is initial incompetence. The court ruled that the charge ought not to be in the first place. You cannot arraign a man for an offence that was allegedly committed as at the time the said crime was not an offence. And the court was very emphatic in that. That yes, the Cardinal State Government has powers to enact laws. But they cannot enact laws to prosecute an offence retrospectively. On that first ground, the court held that that charge is incompetent. On another footing, and while looking at the no-case submission we filed in court, the court agreed with us that the trial is, after all, a charade. That the trial and the prosecution witnesses only came to court to tell stories that are at gross variance with the offences that were alleged in the said charges. The court agreed with us that Malam Zazaki and his wife had committed no offence and that the Cardinal State Government sat in forces in the General Mohammed Buhari's regime and their Saudi sponsors has only been using the instrumentalities of state apparatus to oppress innocent citizens in this country. So, did, did the court award any fine to either the... The, the court did not... It, it, we, we, no party asked for an award of costs. No party asked the court to award costs. It, 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 it's just a criminal trial to determine whether the events of December 12th and 15th, the year 2015, was actually offences or were actually events that can be inferred that the defendant in this case has committed an offence for. And the court was emphatic that none of those events of December 12, 2015 can be attributable or can be attributed to the defendant as grounding an offence upon which they can't be arraigned and tried in court. Is the court order with immediate man. effect? Yes. The court is is free now. a now. defence of discharge and acquittal for Zazaki and his wife. The court was emphatic in holding that there is no charge, that there should have not have been a charge against Zazaki and the wife in the first place. And, that, and this brings us back to the argument prior to 2016 that we've been making all along, that the events of December 12th and 15th of 2015 were orchestrated by state machineries who are using the instrumentalities of state apparatus to fight a religious fight. It is strictly the events of December 12, 2015 is strictly a fight between Shiites and Sunnis. Fights that was imported from Saudi Arabia for whatever purpose. So yeah, thank you very much. So your, name, your, name, 